Hi everyone, today we're back on the Xbox as a homeowner. I'm starting off my morning out here in the kitchen. I just made a cup of coffee here and I had a few pieces of French toast and oh boy am I full but I've been looking out the window trying to find the dog and it looks like he's out there running around so let's go give him a bowl of food and get on to a few projects. If you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. And all the mods used in today's uh, video can be found on all platforms under the in-game mod hub here. But look at this, guys. We're going to give the dog a bowl of food. He's going to be running right on over. And we'll give him a few belly rubs because he always likes that as well. Good boy, good boy. While we are out here behind the house here today, guys, we are actually to work on building a patio. It's a little bit of the bigger projects that we're going to be tackling at the property. And I think that it is going to look pretty cool here. But let's head on over to the garage. I actually have to get going on doing a few things. We're going to get the pressure washer fired on up here so that I can wash both the quad and the pickup truck. Now, the truck might not look too dirty, but all along the bottom area, it is covered in dirt. But look at this, guys. Up here in the bed, you guys can see there is just a lot of dirt here. So I want to get the trucks all nice and clean. And I think uh, we should probably start off here with a quad. I always like to drive around a nice clean truck here, but I've been driving on quite a few dirt roads uh, and there's a lot of construction in town here. So there's just a lot of dust coming up off the roadway, which is no problem here. And hey, uh, detailing is always a lot of fun here. It's nice and relaxing and uh, just to get it all nice and clean here. But you guys can see the pressure washer does a pretty good job here at it. I think we're good to go there. And I do want to bring the quad back there to the pole barn because I don't think I'm going to be riding it over the next few days here. But I actually went around riding on trails around the property. And I definitely uh, need to bring you guys along for that because there are some really cool off-road trails uh, all around us. Oh yeah guys, while we are here in the pole barn, let's do a quick walk around on the classic pickup truck. This was actually a barn find. I did an oil change over the uh, last week. I got new tires for it, but I do not want to drive it just yet here. I'm going to be putting new brakes on this, putting new brake fluid. That way, we should be good to go here because when I was rolling it around, I noticed that the brakes are not the best and we want to make sure we're able to stop here. But other than that, I mean, I just probably want to do a detail nice polish to get this uh, 35 year old paint looking nice and uh, bright and really looking pretty good but yeah that's the update on that we gotta go run over to the local gas station because they have a snow plow for sale and I think we're gonna pick it on up here because you guys know we have a pretty big driveway out front here another driveway back there this is just way too big to use a snow blower for so we're gonna be buying a plow and also I think I can make some extra money a uh, snow plow as well here so let's uh, go uh, check it on out here they only want about two thousand dollars for it and uh, that is a lot cheaper than buying one brand new since my TLX 2022 is lifted, I'm thinking probably it's best to just put on the TLX 3500 here. This might be a little bit easier to maneuver, and uh, I believe that uh, this is a little bit of a smaller truck here, so we'll, we'll just put the plow on this. They said that they would also do a plow mount here for us, because you guys know winter is right around the corner. And I actually really want to do some snow plowing videos here, but I hope you guys are excited for the new year. Happy New Year as well, and... There is a lot planned here. Some big, big things are in the works. Hopefully, we could get going on those very shortly here. But this is a plow. Oh, yeah, boys. This is going to be it here. It's a TLX plow. It's, it's $2,000. Brand new. This thing is over $4,500. It has a little bit of wear and tear. But I'm going to go inside, pay for it. Uh, I actually saw this on the marketplace, and I was the first one to respond. They said they had like six, seven people interested. But let me go pay for it and I will see if they can help me get it hooked up. Well guys, it's a done deal here. I actually got an extra $50 off here, which was pretty awesome. You guys can see the plow fully works here. That is so cool. I'm so excited that now I will, uh, I will be able to just use a truck 
in the snowplow to clear our driveway because uh, it is a big driveway and it'll probably take a few hours for the snowblower. This might be a tight fit here in the garage. Actually, if I angle it like this, oh yeah, look at that. We'll be able to fit it inside. Just have to go a little bit more to the left-hand side than back. Uh, can't be breaking the mirrors off the truck. That would not be a good thing, but I'm thinking I might have to put the truck in the other side since there's a toolbox in front here, but we'll keep on going. And yeah, it looks like we are definitely going to clear it. Wow, guys, that is awesome. There are only a few inches to spare, but uh, let, let's go around back here. Let's see what we need to do here. So I want to put a patio here uh, with patio pavers about 20 feet uh, wide, and then we'll just go to the length of the house here. But you know what, guys? This is going to take way too long here. Let me give a call to local equipment dealer in, uh, in the local hardware store. Let me see if anyone has some sort of machine that we could run for the day. Guys, we're in luck. We're going to head over to the local hardware store. They actually have an equipment rental for a skid steer. It is going to be $400, but guys, that is going to be well worth it here. This would take me days to do by hand. We have to dig down, remove all the topsoil, and bring in uh, the uh, structural gravel base, and then the patio pavers here. So picking up a skid steer for one day, I think. If we need to, we could always uh, pay for a second day, but... If we work all day today, up until uh, 5 p.m., we should be able to get it done. And renting a skid steer is going to be a lot of fun for us. We don't own one, and getting to use one of these and uh, run the controls of it is going to be pretty awesome. If you guys haven't already, I highly recommend you go check me out over on Instagram. I do post every single day over there some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. But oh, look at that, guys. I guess when you call and head, they have it out front ready to go for you. So we'll get the ramps out on the trailer. Let me go inside, sign the paperwork to rent it, and we'll catch you back to get it loaded up. All right, there we have it. The machine we are renting, guys, is the Lizard 863. It's kind of on the smaller scale, but this skid steer is still going to save us a lot, a lot of uh, work that we needed to do by hand here. I'm super excited for the patio. I will be able to sit out uh, there, just have a great time with the family, and also uh, just enjoy the sunrise and sunset here in town because we have an unbelievable view of uh, farmland that backs our property. All right, we're back at the house and we need to get to work here. We're gonna be on a little bit of a time crunch today now that we have the skid steer and we have to return it by 5 p.m. here. It's only about noon time, so we have several hours and I think we should be able to do it here. I mean, just the skid steer work, if we could just get that part done, if anything, I think we should be good to go here because the patio pavers, we do have to lay out by a hand here, but let's go in here. We got the bucket and we have to remove all the topsoil. All this sod, we're just gonna remove. I'll make a pile off to the side and maybe, uh, uh, maybe I'll consider making a vegetable garden since we'll have all this extra soil. We can make some raised garden beds here, but you guys can see we're digging it up no problem. This is turning out to be one big patio here. I think I just finished removing all the topsoil and we're ready to lay the gravel and the paver. So let's get to doing that. And we're gonna set up a few uh, pieces of furniture that we ordered and uh, that is gonna complete the patio. Let's take a look at the finished project here. I've been working on this all day long, and here we have it. Here we got the patio pavers here. Really do like it. Yeah, they're more of kind of a rock uh, paver here, but look at that. We got some extra flowers, and we did also end up setting up these uh, benches here. They took a little bit of time. Hopefully the umbrellas don't fly off here. I do need to add some weight uh, to them here, but look at that also. I found an old wheelbarrow, put some flowers in here. So there we have it. Luckily, it, uh, we rented that skid steer because this took so long. Now I have to get that loaded on up here, get it brought back over so we don't get charged for another day here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We did a lot and there's more projects 
products to come in upcoming videos. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next one and subscribe for more.